back in the last century, when I was growing up. On every August bank holiday, the press was filled with stories about how predominantly Caribbean youths fought with police. So much so that the pop star Joe Strummer proclaimed that it was time for a white riot. These days, the event is largely free from serious trouble, with only one murder in the last 10 years. However, there has been controversy over the public safety aspects of holding such a well-attended event in the narrow streets of London. The government has put a street widening scheme on hold as they felt that very few of their voters attended the festival. Every August, a small group of us travel up from the seaside to watch the carnival. There's endless food stalls selling Caribbean food such as goat curry and all types of patties. And on every street corner there are tins of red truck for sale. A few West Indian fellows were selling homegrown skunk. But not being a vegetarian, I gave it a miss. Surely all the ingredients for a great day out and endless streams of scantily clad dancing girls is just the icing on the cake. Every year since 1966, the streets of West London have come alive with the sounds and the smells of Europe's biggest street festival. There's 20 miles of vibrant colourful costumes, over 40 static sound systems, hundreds of Caribbean food stalls, at least 40,000 volunteers, and possibly up to 1 million Notting Hill Carnival revelers. So what's the point of visiting the carnival? Sure, it's great fun if you're taking part in the parade. Thousands of London girls have spent probably months working on fabulous costumes that will probably be only worn once. Whereas other girls have worked on their dance moves and creating the perfect fat ass that will no doubt last them a lifetime. A lot of time, expense and effort has gone into the planning and I'm sure this is all part of the fun. We are now going to cut over to an on-the-spot reporter whose name I have temporarily forgotten. Okay, so we're here at Carnival on Monday. It's supposed to be cloudy day yesterday, it's quite serious. And uh, we're at Gaz's. The best. Look, take a look. Despite the hopes of the crowd, these two failed to make an appearance. Ah, time to go. The most serious injury I saw was a cut foot. Despite the large crowds, sun and alcohol, the Notting Hill Carnival is a fairly safe place to visit. The party started long before we rolled into town. We ate, we drank, we danced. Well, we watched the girls dance. We watched a lot of girls dancing. But with happy hearts and aching feet, we felt it was time to head back to the seaside. And as we say goodbye to London, we leave the party together.
carry on. <laughs>